This is basically a compound exercise, which is a mass exercise. Um, anybody, I mean, your shoulders are your key to strength. If you want to get strong, you've got to have strong shoulders, especially in benching or anything like that. So basically what we're going to do here is we're going to come in here and do a shoulder press. It's called a Smith Machine. It's assisted, like I say, it's got safety hooks on it. it makes things a little bit safer. Get yourself good back support. You can do these if you want to do them standing. So basically you're going to come in here, get your bar set. Grips are going to vary, everybody's different. I mean, I wouldn't go too much more than, if you're going to go too much closer to sh your shoulder, that might be a little, I mean, it just matters what you want. And you can go a little bit wider if you want. Some guys are way out here. The more you go out, the more stress you're going to have on them outer, your sh outer shoulders and the more possible damage. So basically you want to come down about right here. You'll see some guys doing this. You want to get down here and then back up. You don't need to go all the way up, but you just want to make sure you get a good luck. Eventually we'll go into showing some more hardcore training. So basically what you're gonna do is say four sets, four sets of this exercise, and you're doing eight to twelve reps. Meaning I'm gonna do like the, 12, the first one would be 12, I'm kind of loosening up. And then you want to work yourself up to 8. Meaning eight's going to be your last heavy set. So basically, what we're going to do is you're going to get here, and, you're, and then the, on these exercises here, you're probably going to want to give yourself probably three minutes rest in between a set, so that you're, we're, we're looking for power and strength. So you, you're not looking for, uh, um, I mean, as far as you don't want to go and worry about uh, your timing. You're, you're here for strength, so it takes like three minutes, or make sure at least you're not breathing hard. If you're not breathing hard, you're probably ready to go. Now, basically, again, all you're gonna do is get comfortable with your hand grip. Now, I, there's, there's two different types of grips here. I was a, I'm, I'm a big thumbless grip guy, but a lot of times now, I, I would probably suggest you go the full wrap this way. This bar's a little bit more safer, but I was always a thumbless guy because I it feels like you can get under the bar a little bit better. So and then you just come down nice and easy. Push it up. As you're going up, you're letting your air out, keeping your breath. And you see I'm not going all the way up. Sometimes I will, not all the way up, but I mean I'll go up to rest if I have to. But the main thing is just keep the bar moving. Nice contraction. That would be like the first set, and then you'll see you'll see four other sets. And then, like I say, we're not going to show you all this stuff just because of time. So basically, that's what you would do for the shoulder press. That would be our first mass exercise. Uh, as far as if you're coming in for, uh, again, mass. You know, if you're coming in and you're not into trying to get bigger, a lot bigger, then you can, you know, you can go to the machines. I, I believe that the, the free weights, you want to do a lot more free weights at the beginning, especially if you're younger. When you first come in here, free weights hit more of your stabilizer muscles uh, instead of going and doing a machine. Now, <clears throat> again, it just it just matters what you want out of a workout, you know, as far as that goes. So, like I said, this will be our first exercise for the shoulders today. I mean, not that every day I start with this or whoever does whatever starts with this, but this will be the first one for now.